EG4 Power Pro ESS Solar Edge Home Battery. Which is the best home battery storage system on the market today? I'm going to be answering that question and teaching you all about these two market leading batteries in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're doing another head to head battery, battery system comparison between the EG4 Power Pro system and the Solar Edge Home, the Solar Edge Home Battery. Now, before we get into the detailed specs, I want to take a moment and kind of present to you how these two systems are alike and how they are different, because uh, they really are two different architectures. Uh, let's start with the Solar Edge system first. Now, Solar Edge uses a high voltage DC coupled architecture, meaning that the interface between the solar system or the solar PV output and the battery happens on the DC side of the system before any inversion and it happens in high voltage format. So you can take advantage of the more efficient high voltage DC to DC solar to battery charging. Uh, of course, if you're using the Solar Edge battery, it means you're also using the entire Solar Edge platform, which includes DC optimization on the roof. So you'll have a Solar Edge DC optimizer on each solar panel on the roof, feeding down to a Solar Edge inverter, and then you could have one or more Solar Edge home batteries connected to that inverter. But basically, th this is a proprietary system. You're going to be all Solar Edge with that setup. Now, on the EG4 side, although the, the configuration we're looking at today does include all EG4 equipment, EG4 actually uses a modular low voltage architecture, meaning that you could use a, a battery from a third party provider. You don't have to use EG4's own battery. But, you know, the trend that we're seeing more and more is just going to getting all of your major components from one company so you get good communication between everything. So in today's example, we're gonna be looking at the configuration using EG4's own battery. It's a low voltage battery, meaning it's, it's a 48 volt nominal battery. Technically it operates at about 51 volts, but in terms of interoperable standards, if you were to swap out a different battery, you could pretty much use any 48 volt nominal battery system with the EG4 inverter. Uh, and of course, EG4 is a low voltage DC coupled system, meaning that you, know, you basically have solar, in order for your solar to charge your battery, the voltage has to be stepped down to match that 48 volt or that 51 volt um, operating range of the battery. So you're gonna see a little bit higher efficiency in the battery charging with a high voltage DC system like Solar Edge, but in terms of interoperability, EG4, you'll be able to, to, to play nice with components from other manufacturers. All right, let's get to the comparison. Now, we're gonna be doing the evaluation in six different categories. Each category has a maximum score of five points for a maximum overall score of 30 points. Now, those categories are power, uh, of course, the storage capacity of the battery, uh, the warranty that comes with the battery, uh, of course, the cost of the battery and the cost to have it installed, uh, also, the ease of installation, and this is a relatively new category for us, but this is especially important, uh, especially for you solar installers out there, as you have to manage the more complex installation and the more complex logistics of transporting and, and putting these batteries into place. We figure this is an important category as well. And then finally, what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is a way I can award additional points to one of the two products where there may not be a direct apples to apples comparison, but where it could have tremendous impact to you as a potential system owner. And with that, let's get into the comparison. All right, first up here is the Solar Edge Home Battery. Now in terms of power output, each battery can provide continuous power of five kilowatts with surge power up to 7.5 kilowatts. Now that's not a lot of power compared to some of the new batteries that are on the market today. Now in terms of storage capacity, each Solar Edge home battery provides 9.7 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity. Uh, so again, I think compared to some of the other batteries that are on the market today, it's a little bit undersized. Now in terms of the warranty, the battery does come with that standard 10 year warranty. And that is sort of what we're seeing emerging as the standard is a 10 year warranty for home battery systems. Although there are some companies that provide 12 or 15 years, but Solar Edge comes in here right at 10 years. Now in terms of cost, you are gonna see that the Solar Edge home battery is higher on the spectrum in terms of cost per kilowatt hour. Uh, and again, when, whenever you're evaluating cost of a battery storage system, if you look at your total installed cost per kilowatt hour of storage capacity, 
that's a good way to get you an apples to apples comparison of you know, how good of a value are you getting on that battery installation. Now, in terms of ease of installation, there's not really a whole lot that I find that noteworthy about the battery design. Um, it is a single battery design. So, you know, you're looking at uh, absolute minimum, a two person lift. In some cases, you might wanna use like a, a powered lift dolly to help set that battery into place on the wall mount. But, but essentially, you know, it's, it's a 10 kilowatt hour building block, weighs over 200 pounds. So you're definitely gonna need a two person install or maybe a three person install, depending on how that battery has to be positioned. And then in terms of X factor, I'm gonna give the Solar Edge home battery plus two additional X factor points. And it really has more to do with features that are available on the Solar Edge platform. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, you're gonna have module level optimization. You'll also have module level monitoring in most cases, so you can track each individual solar panel. You can take advantage of that high voltage DC to DC solar to battery charging. Um, and of course, the other accessories that Solar Edge is developing, uh, like the bi-directional EV charger. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video on the Solar Edge bi-directional EV charger, uh, go back and watch that previous video where we walk through that feature in more detail. So this is the Solar Edge home battery. All right, next up is the EG4 Power Pro system. Now, the EG4 Power Pro system, again, is not just a battery. It is the hybrid inverter, which you see depicted at the top here. There's a conduit box that EG4 offers to have a nice flush mounting with the EG4 Power Pro wall mount battery. So we're looking at the entire solution here in today's evaluation. Now, in terms of power output, the PowerPro system can provide 12 kilowatts of continuous output power with surge power up to 15 kilowatts. Now, that's a lot of power, especially compared to, to the five kilowatts mentioned earlier for the Solar Edge battery. That means that you can legitimately run a whole house backup with a single inverter and a single battery setup. Now, in terms of storage capacity, each PowerPro battery gives you 14.3 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. So in this case, again, if you want it to go with a minimal solution, you could install the system just with a single battery and, and still be able to configure it for a whole house backup. Although I think what many of you that are gonna to wanna to do if you're looking for a true whole house backup and able to run heavy loads like air conditioning overnight is just add a second battery to double your storage capacity. Now in terms of warranty, EG4 offers that standard, uh, that same standard 10 year warranty. And in terms of cost, I think you're going to find the EG4 solution is a tremendous value when compared to Solar Edge, especially if you're looking at it as the total installed cost per kilowatt hour of storage. Because what I'm seeing out there is that not only is the Solar Edge battery a couple thousand dollars more per unit, but with the EG4 battery, you're getting 40% more storage capacity per battery. So again, if you look at the total installed cost per kilowatt hour for the whole system, EG4 has tremendous value, and especially as you scale it up from one battery to many, that total installed cost per kilowatt hour will be driven down even further, giving you a tremendous value. Now, in terms of ease of installation, uh, again, I, I would say that EG4 is middle of the road in terms of ease of installation. So the, the battery is, I mean, it, it's a heavy battery. It weighs over 200 pounds. Uh, it's gonna require a, a two-person team at minimum to install. But again, I think part of the design was how do we offer the best value or the lowest cost per kilowatt hour? And the best way to do that is to have larger battery, right? The, 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 the smaller the building blocks you have to break it down to, you're adding cost in the manufacturing process. And then in terms of X factor, I'm gonna give the EG4 system plus four additional X factor points for some of the additional features that are available with the hybrid inverter here. Uh, for example, you can have smart load control, uh, you can have generator restart, uh, and generator recharge. So if you're operating off grid and you, you hit a patch of bad weather, you can fire up a fuel burning generator to be charging the battery and powering the house at the same time, uh, as well as having a black start capability. So if, if your battery completely drains out, your solar can still restart your battery without the house load trying to pull at the same time, which would prevent potentially prevent a truck roll for having a technician to having to come out and jumpstart your battery. Uh, obviously that's not what you want in an emergency situation. You want a battery that can run completely self-sufficient off the grid for days, weeks, or even months at a time if the situation arises. So this is the EG4 Power Pro system. Now I should also mention EG4 just released a new hybrid inverter called the FlexBoss 21. So we believe the new version of the Power Pro system is gonna replace the 18K PV inverter 
with the Flex Boss 21, which will give you a little bit more in terms of output capacity as well as solar input. I also should mention that as of this recording, the plan is for EG4 to be manufacturing these inverters in the USA, in Texas, by the end of 2025. Okay, so in summary here, with the Solar Edge system, you're looking at five kilowatts of continuous output per battery, 9.7 kilowatt hours of usable storage capacity, a 10 year warranty. Uh, Solar Edge is gonna be higher on the cost spectrum, especially if you look at total installed cost per kilowatt hour of storage, plus three out of five points for ease of installation, plus two X factor points for some of the other features available on the Solar Edge platform. Now for the EG4 Power Pro system, you're looking at 12 kilowatts continuous output power, 14.3 kilowatt hours of storage capacity, same 10 year warranty, definitely much lower on the cost spectrum, right? This is where EG4 really outperforms, especially as the system scales up, is having that lowest scaled cost per kilowatt hour. Three out of five for ease of installation, plus four X factor points, for some of those additional features of the new hybrid inverter. So if we total it up, Solar Edge gets three out of five on power, three out of five on storage capacity, three out of five on the warranty. Again, got that standard 10 year warranty. Three out of five on ease of installation plus two X factor points for a total of 17 points. Now for the EG4 Power Pro system, I'm awarding five out of five on power, more than double the power output. Five out of five on storage capacity as well. The PowerPro system has 40% 40 more storage capacity than the Solar Edge battery. Same three out of five on the warranty, five out of five on cost. Again, I think EG4's claim to fame here really is going to be having the lowest scaled cost per kilowatt hour, especially as you install larger systems with two, three, and four batteries that can all feed a single inverter, you're gonna see some very low numbers in terms of total installed cost per kilowatt hour. Three out of five for installation. Again, it's not, you know, not like it's that easy uh, to install or easier than other batteries of its size and shape. Although having the EG4 conduit box does help. You don't have to go there and you know, buy your own conduit box and then measure all your own, cut your own knockouts. It does help reduce some of the complexity there. And then of course, four extra X vector points uh, for the other features of the hybrid inverter, namely generator recharge, smart circuit control, and black start, giving EG4 a total score of 25 points. So this has been another head-to-head -head battery comparison video. Um, again, folks, when we do these comparisons, it's not necessarily to say, hey, this battery is always better than this, this battery, or this company is always better than this, but it's one of those things where, you know, you want to understand what are you really getting yourself into um, and I would say, unless you're already on the Solar Edge platform and you already have all that equipment on your house and on your roof, if you're looking for an excellent value for a whole house backup, the EG4 solution is a serious contender. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote for any of these options or, or frankly, any of the leading options, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. You can set up a call with a solar surge expert or just use the free online calculator to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.